I'd like to spend a few moments and talk about melodic motion etude number 10. This one's in the key of one sharp. We're going to be going up and down the neck an octave from this G all the way up to the 15th fret. If you've not done so already, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd like to make a donation, the PayPal information's down below. We certainly appreciate it. So we're going to start off here with a tenth with a descending melodic line over a single bass note. So G and B, third and fourth frets of the sixth and third strings, and this pattern's going to be the same throughout. It's going to be two notes on the third string and one note dipping in to the fourth string. So we're always looking for a tenth, a below neighbor, and then a further below neighbor. There's other ways to finger this, but I'm encouraging you to try this one. The lengthwise one here is it's easy to see, and if you're familiar with your keys, even if you're not, it'll help you map map the keys. In this case, the key of one sharp, so every F is going to be sharp. So G and B down to A, a whole step below, second fret, to G, fifth fret of the fourth string, and back where we started. So in terms of our three note groupings, if you've seen previous lessons, that's upper, middle, lower, upper. So it goes from the highest note to the middle note to the lowest note and back. That's one permutation of three notes. We could have, a, let's see, that'd be low, middle, high, low. Middle, high, middle, low. that'd be another permutation. But we're going to have this one. High, middle, low, high. Now we have an A tenth here at the fifth fret. A and C looks like A minor or D7 depending on what we want it to be. So A and C five and five with four below, a half step below and A at the seventh fret of the fourth string. Same kind of pattern, but it widens out to where we have a whole step below our tenth. This is B and D, seventh fret, whole step below C, reaching up to B on the fourth string, ninth fret. It's my hope that if I set you loose right here and just said, do it, that you'd be able to find and make the, the fingering conform to the scale that we're in. Here's C and E, this will be a tenth, just like our initial one. So C and E, we're using middle two fingers here so we can get the above and below parts. So nine, seven, ten, nine. Same thing, D major. Ten and eleven, nine, twelve on the fourth string, back to eleven. I'm trying to do it in position. Off the cuff. I hadn't done that before. I'm seeing the key here. I'm seeing the scale and being led by my ear on what the melodic line should do and then making sure my fingering conforms to the scale of one sharp. Now we need E, e minor. 
12th fret, E and G, half step below, then E on the 4th string, 14th fret. The 7 chord, or maybe D, 1st inversion, D over F sharp. 14, 14 with 12 below and 16 above on the 3rd string. And we're back home. 15, 16, 14, 17, back to 16. And it's the same things coming down. We just keep going. It could be that when you get up, shift this will look a lot like melodic motion etude number nine so that's probably how I arrived at number 10 was playing number nine and it made me see that we could do this on the fifth and uh, second strings So I hope this finds you well and enjoying your music, not putting too much pressure on yourself and enjoying the things that you're playing. And I do wish you a very good day.